Paint Brushes for Frida. Nothing is going to plan this morning. Frida wants to get up, but she can't. Her back hurts and her legs refuse to obey her. She calls her husband from the bottom of her bed. Querido, my dear, can you please help me? I want to paint. Silence. Diego has gone out. The curtains are drawn. Frida tries to sit upright and put on the light on her nightstand. A sharp pain shoots through her body and she knocks over the tray standing nearby. Fruit falls and rolls across the room. The paintbrush jar lies on the floor, broken into three pieces. Frida clenches her fists as well as her teeth. Her blue house now seems to be coated in black. Outside, in a corner of the patio, Caimito notices something rolling along the tiles. It's an orange. The monkey grabs it and pricks up his ears. At one o'clock, buy some tuna. That familiar voice trying to hide all its pain and anger. Who is it trying to reach? Bedridden and with her eyes closed, Frida hums an old rhyme from her childhood. A las dos como arroz. At two o'clock, I eat rice. What else can you do other than count? Count, count, and be patient. Every second, every minute without painting seems like a loss to her. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock is the sound of her heart in her cage. The pain is holding her prisoner. Is she completely beaten? But no, behind her sunken eyelids, her imagination sets out to draw. A las tres, at three o'clock, I want a large white canvas with brushes in all sizes and a riot of color. On the patio, Caimito eats the orange and considers thoughtfully. A canvas? Brushes? He knows where to find them. There are plenty in the house. Plenty of paints as well. The azure blue of the walls, the blood red of the pyramid, the golden yellow of the painted wooden furniture, the green of the cactus in the garden. But how can they be fetched? Frida paints in her head and continues to invent new words to her old nursery rhyme. At four o'clock, I saw the most beautiful shapes. Watermelons, papaya, and pineapple. Coconut, bananas, and avocados. Should I have them all? Caimito only has two arms. The little monkey is happy to have found the canvas, some brushes, and this pretty box of paint tubes. But what about the rest? Yes, Caimito has an idea. He climbs the wall and jumps onto the street. From the most beautiful tree in the quarter, his scream flies into the distance and then bounces from peak to peak before resounding in the forest. The monkey is calling his friends. Frida's voice, always coming from the foot of the bed, has already calmed down a little bit. At five o'clock, I sit down and arrange my fruit. I create a still life, one full of vigor. Oh la la, oh dear, if Frida saw that, Gaimito, Fu Lang Chang, 
and two other little spider monkeys scour all of Mexico in search of two coconuts. They are still singing when they return home. Frida now draws with her finger on the canvas. At six o'clock, I trace the outlines of my next painting. At seven o'clock, Frida does not have time to invent the sequel. Four black monkeys, loaded with odds and ends, make their entrance into her room, full of drama and triumph. They place their jumble on the bed, the canvas, some brushes, paint, and fruit. It's an explosion of colors and of joy. They even bring a flower with them, a beautiful bird of paradise. Frida bursts out laughing. She spreads her arms and in an embrace, the little monkeys snuggle up to her. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, you and your friends. She then grabs a canvas and brushes and resumes her song. It's eight o'clock. Are you ready? I am doing our portrait. The end.